I don't usually wear eyeglasses, but today I'm trying out these. These are Echo Frames, Amazon's new Alexa-enabled eyeglasses. Now, just said her name. I'm going to say her name a lot in this video, so if you don't want your speakers to be triggered by mistake, you might want to put those on mute. But what these are are just kind of a discreet or relatively discreet set of eyeglasses that you can wear with built-in microphones and speakers here on the side. So when you put them on and you say the assistant's name, it's going to answer you back here near your ears. You'll be able to hear what she's saying. You can also activate it by pressing a button or you can double press to mute those microphones if you want a little bit of privacy. When you do that, you're going to see a little red light up there so you know that it's been activated or a little blue light when it's been activated if you're just pressing to wake Alexa up. So these aren't nearly as futuristic or as newfangled as you might have expected Alexa eyeglasses to be. There's no camera built into these things. There's no augmented reality display. These aren't screens at all. They're just lenses. They can be your prescription lenses. And all I'm really looking at when I look through them is the camera in front of me right now. What they are is a way to bring Alexa with you on the go as you're walking through your day. They're going to pair with your phone via Bluetooth and offer up to 14 hours of battery life on a charge or three hours of playback if you're using them to crank some music into your ears as you go for a walk. And these are experimental-ish devices, Amazon say, part of their new day one bucket of devices that are complete and ready for the public, but they might have some limitations or some reasons that Amazon doesn't want to do a wide release yet. So these are going to be available by invitation only, similar to Echo Auto. They cost $180. You'll have to ask for an invite on Amazon and wait to get them. We'll see how long that takes because Echo Auto has taken a long time to get to consumers. We'll be waiting for ours and doing a lot more tests back at CNET HQ, so stay tuned for that.